I'm a big fan of smart lighting. I adopted smart bulbs way back before they were popular and I haven't looked back since. The major complaint about smart bulbs has been that in most cases you need what's called a hub or a bridge to get the connectivity with your Wi-Fi system at home. But now things have changed. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and TechGadgetsCanada.com and Philips Hue, makers of a huge array of smart lighting, have just introduced Bluetooth smart bulbs and Bluetooth smart filament or Edison bulbs. I had a chance to play with a few of them in my home for a week or so and I'm going to tell you what I learned about them, including what using the Bluetooth bulbs means for your existing Hue Wi-Fi setup and how they work overall, how you can control them, and if they operate differently than the Wi-Fi Hue bulbs and spoiler alert they do an early heads up though that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and consider giving us a sub since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch enjoy and learn from you might be wondering what the advantages are of choosing a Philips Hue Bluetooth bulb over a traditional Hue bulb. For starters, you'll save money. These are an ideal gateway to exploring a smart home and smart lighting because you don't need the Hue bridge, which costs about 80 bucks. There's a few lighting options in this new Bluetooth range. There's the Edison or filament bulbs. There's white ambience, which lets you have warmer or cooler white light. There's halogen replacements, as well as specialty options for a chandelier. There's also color and white ambience bulbs that let you create different color stories and scenes. It's worth pointing out that these bulbs are designed to have less functionality than regular hue lights. Now that's not a bad thing and it shouldn't be considered a criticism. These lights are just made with limited functionality I guess so that they can be offered to consumers who aren't sure if they want to spend on a full starter kit or outfitting the whole entire home yet. Now, when it comes to setting up the Philips Hue Bluetooth bulbs, there is a special app needed for you first timers. Now, thankfully, there's no major changes for those of you already familiar with setting up Hue bulbs. For these bulbs, download the free Philips Hue Bluetooth app and get an account set up. And yes, it's important to note you do need a different app from the regular Hue app. It's clearly labeled in the App Store or Google Play. Next, screw in your light bulb and make sure the power is on. The app will walk you through what to do, but I found I did need to stand directly under the bulbs in order for them to see them via Bluetooth. The app will find the bulbs and then you add them to your dashboard. The connection here worked well and I had the bulbs ready to use inside the Hue Bluetooth app in minutes. Good news for existing users. If you already have a Philips Hue bridge or a previous Hue setup, you can still set up these bulbs using the regular Philips Hue app and control them in there too. Go to Settings, Light Setup, and then choose Add Light. The app is going to search for your bulb and should add it to your list of available bulbs. After that, you can back out of that screen and choose Rooms and Zones and assign your light to a room if you like. Overall, setting up the Hue Bluetooth bulbs is easy whether you're using the new Bluetooth Hue app or the existing Hue app. If you're watching this wondering if you should make the leap into smart lighting, you might be wondering what they can do for you. Smart lights are most often remotely operated lights that can be controlled with your smartphone, tablet, or using voice control. They often have the ability to display a full spectrum of colors plus different tones of white light like warm white light or cool white light. They can brighten a room or set a mood easily and you can create special effects or put them on timers. So how can you best use smart lighting in your home? For starters, you can use it to create ambient light in a home theater or TV room. Ambient light creates subtle illumination that makes watching TV and movies easier on your eyes since it cuts the harshness of a bright screen in a dark room. Smart lights can also be set to certain colors to set the mood of a particular movie or genre. Dark purple for film noir, red light during a horror flick, for example, you get the idea. Smart lights can set the right mood for a wintry dinner party. Turn the lights a peachy yellow tone for that candlelit style glow. You can set lights to green, blue, or purple when it's really hot out. Cool colored lighting can actually make you feel cooler overall in my experience. You can also change your lights to team colors for game night or just experiment with decorating your space with light that pleases you. Okay Google, turn living room lights one and two on. You can set your regular Hue lights to be controlled via Google or Alexa, so you can ask for them to be turned on, or you can set geofences so that when you arrive, the lights will turn on automatically, and when you leave, they'll shut off. The sky is really the limit when it comes to ways to use that Wi-Fi controlled lighting. 
Now with the Bluetooth Hue lights here, you can still use voice control with Alexa or Google, but some of the other functions like geofencing, timers, or schedules aren't available with the Bluetooth version of the app. Again, this is not a criticism. They're not made to have those functions. If you want more, upgrade to the full Philips Hue system. When it comes to smartphone control with the Bluetooth app, the main difference is that you need to be standing fairly close to the lights to get them to operate, essentially within that Bluetooth range. In my house, this meant I needed to be generally in the room with them or close by in an adjacent room. I found that within about 16 to 20 steps, I'd lose the signal and the lights wouldn't work. With the Hue Bluetooth app, you can turn your lights on and off, dim or brighten them, and set light recipes or custom color scenes depending on the type of bulb you have. I've said this before in previous reviews of the Philips Hue lighting system. These lights are very easy to set up. They are a breeze to use via the app. They operate entirely bug free in my three years experience with them. And I love having the ability to decorate with colored light or to use them remotely. I've never had a single issue with the entire Philips Hue light lineup or any of their lights or their app. So this is definitely my favorite smart lighting kit and I'm happy to recommend it. I also really like the fact that there's Philips Hue Edison or filament bulbs now too. Overall, while these lights do have some limitations compared to the full Wi-Fi connected Hue lighting array, they are a great way to get in and try out smart lighting. The fact that they still work with the regular Hue system is a major plus too. In short, if you're looking to try out smart lighting without the upfront investment, Philips Hue Bluetooth lights are a great gadget to sample this technology. If you want to read more, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have about the Hue Bluetooth lighting either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give us a sub since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC. You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.